Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use SellerAmp software to make you more money in your Amazon business. So first things first with SellerAmp, you're gonna have two pricing options, getting started and getting serious, right? When you're first starting off with Amazon FBA, you could do the $19.95 or the $27.95. I would recommend the $19.95 because you get a thousand lookups. And let's be honest, when you're starting out, you're not gonna be looking up more than a thousand products. After two to three months, when you're getting serious, you're gonna go to the $27.95. This is where you're going to have unlimited lookups per month, five Chrome extensions for maybe a virtual assistant. And you're going to have three phone app installs. All these subscriptions, they renew monthly. This is probably going to be the highest ROI thing you're going to be able to do in your business. The reason why the ROI is so high for this is because without selling ramp, you're not going to be able to calculate how much profit you're actually making. You're not going to be able to reverse source. You're not going to be able to look at the little keeper graph. There's so many little things that you're going to need with seller ramp that if you don't have it, you're going to be at a big disadvantage as an Amazon seller in 2025. The reason why I love seller ramp so much is because with this software, you're going to be able to see how much you're profiting after every unit you scan or look up, right? So in that case, when you're purchasing products, you're not going to be playing a guessing game. You're going to have data. You're going to be able to see how many sellers are on the listing. You're going to be able to see what sellers are winning the buy box consistently. You're going to be able to access so much value and information that if you didn't have it, you would just be at such a disadvantage. There's going to be two ways to actually use SellerAmp. There's going to be SellerAmp on your computer, and there's going to be the SellerAmp mobile app right here. This is where I'm going to be going into stores, and I'm scanning items like this, and I'm going to be able to pull it up on my my phone. But once I want to source on my computer, what I'm going to do, I'm going to install it as a Google Chrome and I'm going to be able to look up information on my desktop or laptop. So the first things we look at is the quick info, right? This is when we're, when we're sourcing through a lot of products. These are the main metrics that we're going to want to look at. So BSR is best sellers ranking right now. This is 43 K. That means it's in the 1%. This is a very solid product, right? The next one we're looking at is estimated sales per month. As you can see over here, it's 400 plus month that matches over here. This means that this product sells 400 times every month. Amazon has verified that. Over here, we have our max cost over here. Don't let this number scare you. This basically tells you what price you need to buy this item for to meet your criteria, right? And our criteria is over here in profit and ROI. So profit is $3. ROI is 30%. That is my criteria. Over here, we're in the alerts channel. Alerts is where if there's an issue with the item, seller will actually show you if there's an issue with the item. So right now it says this listing has three variations. That doesn't mean it's a bad product. It's just warning you for this product. So at the top over here, a feature that I really like is that they put the ASIN over here. It gives you the dimensions of how much this item actually weighs. Very resourceful, very important information. Over here, it just gives you more product information. The third one we're looking at right now is open Amazon product page. This is where you could basically pull this up on Amazon and voila, it just shows you the Amazon page. Let's say I was trying to find this product at a cheaper price. I was trying to source this product. The good thing about SellerAmp is instead of searching this product by yourself and doing all that wasting all that time all you have to do is click the little g the google button and it'll look up this item on the whole internet and you'll be able to find this product at a lower price so as you can see over here you can see that over here at walmart it's here for 9.97 and then the last button we have over here is the web app seller amp button this is where instead of staying in the google extension you're actually going to go into the seller amp website so this is if you wanted the full page of everything this is the same information it's just in one page we're going to scroll down and it basically shows you the ranks and prices this is the current buy box is at 19.87 fba lowest fba seller is at 19.87 estimated sales at 400 plus per Per month. A good thing you could do, you could just refresh. Last check five minutes ago. Now, as you can see over here, we just refreshed it. The lowest FBM sellers now, 1897. Buy box is at 1899. We're gonna go down here. Another feature that I love about seller amp is the offers. It'll show you every single seller that's on this listing. If you want to see this is a listing that you might want to get on, you're gonna want to look at the other offers. These are the other Amazon sellers that are selling on this listing. As you can see, this guy has three in stock, two in stock, one in stock. Number four, this guy has 30 plus in stock, plus he has 2000 reviews. So as you can see, you can make an educated purchase reading the offers. Another key feature I love with SellerAmp is the Google Sheets, right? Let's just say this product, it doesn't meet my criteria. It's $1.63 profit and 17% ROI. That doesn't meet my criteria, but it's almost. A discount code could make this item profitable, right? I'm gonna put this into my Google Sheets. I'm gonna put it into my almost. SellerAmp automatically exports it 
to almost Google Sheets. If I do this for a couple of hours every day, I'm gonna have a full spreadsheet of ASINs that are full of potential leads, right? All I have to do every week is just look at them, see if there's a discount code or the price went down so I could get on that listing and actually start profiting. Another key feature that I love is the buy box analysis. I mean, this is this is money, right? We wanna see who's winning the buy box because at the end of the day, with Amazon, if you're not winning the buy box, you're not really gonna get sales. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be the one to tell you. This is the 90 days buy box analysis, right? Toys, clothes, and other stuff has about 20%, 25%, and it's spread out evenly. This is what we want. We want a lot of people able to win the buy box because that means we have an opportunity to win the buy box. Let's go to the average 30 days. Okay, it's spread out even more. Toys, clothes, and stuff is still on here. You have this guy, Game Haven NC. He's kind of snuck into here and he's been bullying the buy box he's a 2000 rating guy so he's been bullying this buy box but he hasn't been going too crazy i'm still going to monitor this listing and see if game having nc is going to be bullying the buy box in the future as you can see over here it's going to say when they want the buy box amazon it's, it's all about data if you can read the data, you're gonna be able to make a lot of money in this business. So Game Haven NC, the last time he won buy box was seven. Oh, I just refreshed. Toys, clothes, and other stuff just won the buy box. 13% in the past 30 days. Average price is 1987. As you can see, 1987 is probably what we're gonna be selling it for. The good thing about this is, you know, Keepa is another software that's you know really important for Amazon. But in sell sell ramp has their own miniature, you know, Keepa chart. It does, it does a job. So as you can see, stable buy box monthly sold is good you know offer counts going down a bit but it's not too bad it's not like no ip complaint ish so we should be fine right you can look at the days you look at the weeks months years i mean that's money right as we're looking at this over here now you have the profit calculator this is a really important thing this is probably a light item my fbm cost will probably be about six dollars let's just say i was fulfilling this item fba all i have to do is click that button and then it flips my profit to one dollar sixteen twelve percent roi so this would be my numbers if i fulfilled this item with amazon if i fulfilled it myself i'm guessing it would either be five to six dollars I'll probably go 5.5. This will be our profit. So it would be better for me to probably FBM this item. So it tells me the total fees and everything. And the good thing I like about this is let's just say this is a slow mover, right? We're going to need this to be in Amazon's, you know, warehouse for quite a while. So what we're basically going to do is let's just say we're going to sell out in three months. It tells us that each month it costs 10 cents to keep it into Amazon's warehouse. So that's going to leave us with 83 cents and 9% ROI. I'm just basically showing you guys the numbers. So let's say 5.5 label cost, right? We're profiting $2.13, 23% ROI. The good thing about this is when you're buying tons of units, you could predict how much money you're actually going to make, right? It does everything for you. So I love about it. You know, with the quantity, let's just say I sold a hundred of these. You basically say, it would cost me $926 to actually buy 200 units. I would sell it for $1,987 you know, and I would profit $213. So let's just say I got this for $799. Meets our criteria. Let's do it again. And then our profit would be $340. So just play around with that, right? And this will basically give you a plan to see if you want to go deep on a product or not so obviously this has, this has variations there's different colors and then a good thing about this okay there's so many little features that i love about seller amp this is one of my favorites so let's just say i found this for 9.99 right but i found a 20 percent discount for this all i have to do is just click 20 percent, and this is how my margins will look at it's one of my favorite features so then it would just show your roi obviously i have to keep over here and then a good thing about seller amp once you actually go into the web app right this is the actual website. It just gives you all this data over here, right? So let's just say I wanted to go to somebody's storefront. What I would do is I would go here, Ecom Shop LLC, all right? Ecom Shop LLC. I'd go here. I'd click Seller Amp. Before we looked up a product, now we're looking up a storefront. This is an Amazon seller right so he has 90 he has 142 ratings right he has 486 asins in his storefront these are the top brands he's selling so seller amp gives you so much information guys you guys need this but it doesn't matter you guys need to learn how to use seller amp in 2025 if you want to have a successful amazon business he's selling 70 hot wheel products so he has 70 hot wheel products in his storefronts so you're telling me you can't find one of them inside there